Personally, I would happily change my name to Steve if I felt like it would help me to achieve my end goal. I'm Kirsty, the founder of Girl Power Gang, a collective of influential girls in the creative industries passionate about helping other women and female empowerment. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey around London town to discover some true visionary female entrepreneurs. The first pioneering woman I want to talk to you about today is Dame Steve Shirley. This woman is incredible. She came to the UK as a five-year-old child refugee to escape the Second World War and arrive not far from here at Liverpool Street Station. She was raised by foster parents, stayed in the UK and as an adult launched her own software company. As her company grew, she realised very early on that she was going to have to do things differently in a male-dominated industry. So, she decided to change her name to Steve. Over the years, her business became hugely successful and she proceeded to give the majority of her profits away. To me, Dame Steve is a true girl power icon. Her passion, determination and selflessness are things that we could all learn from. Now, I'm not finished. We're gonna go and meet some more amazing women. We're here in this bustling shopping area to tell you about another amazing lady, Mary Portis, Queen of Shops. She's a true visionary that's changed the face of the British high street. She worked her way up to become creative director at Harvey Nicks and she was on their board before the age of 30. And she'd only just got started. Next came brand consultancies, TV shows, and her own creative agency. She's strong, she's honest, she's real. She's an amazing role model for female entrepreneurs, but also for the LGBTQ community. A true girl power icon. Now let's go. There's another person I'd like you to see. We've come to Splitterfields today because I want to tell you about somebody really important. Anna Maria Garthwaite. Anna Maria Garthwaite came to Spitalfields in the mid 18th century knowing that she wanted to be a silk textile designer but not having a clue how she was going to do it. She was the only woman in a completely male dominated industry, imagine that, the only one. Not only did she manage to break through, she managed to be hugely successful in the UK and abroad. Even though she has a blue plaque, we still don't know that much about her, which just seems such a shame to me considering she was an icon of her time. Obviously, I'm super passionate about this subject. I've built my entire business around female empowerment and girls helping girls. It's so important that we celebrate every woman's achievements and make sure that none of us get written up here. 